my website right now and download my free course on alternate picking mastery. It contains five essential exercises that will take you to alternate picking mastery faster than you can imagine. And then I've included my method of how to lay out a practice plan in just one to two minutes that will absolutely boost your results like nothing you ever tried before. So go download it right now. It's free. <laughs> Hey, talking about a comment below one of these uh, videos on this channel, please subscribe if you haven't already done so. Um, and so go back and watch the previous video where I talk about that. It's a guy who's you know, practicing five, six hours for six months after playing guitar for 11 years, and he's not making any progress, or at least that's how it feels. And we talk about you know, what to do about it and how to make progress. But in this video, I just want to put my finger on one other thing, and that is the whole email is like, it's hopeless, or oh, email, comment, sorry. It's hopeless. And it also writes that by the end of it, that this is depressing, I'm depressed. But just think about how luxury that is, being depressed about not developing your guitar skills when you think about what other people are depressed about. <laughs> you know, poverty, for instance, you know, death, you know, all kinds of stuff that you can really be depressed about, but you have such a high level problem that you're depressed about not developing your skills on an instrument that you don't really need to play, right? <laughs> so this is luxury, first of all. But when we get depressed about not developing our skills, and this is kind of psychological, but this is one of the, the things that determines whether you actually get to the final skill level or not. So let's talk about it. Is that you have two ways of reacting to any challenge and not developing is a, is a challenge, right? You can react like, like uh, a victim, or you can react like you go even harder, like right? the warrior would, go, would push even harder. And if that doesn't work, he pushes even harder. But you wanna be intelligent and look for better strategies because if you're pra practicing five, six hours a day for six months and you're not making progress, it's not because you don't have the talent. It's not because you can't do it. It's because you're not using the most effective strategy. So get intelligent, look for better strategies. If you wanna go to Berlin and you're not making progress, you're probably sitting on a dead horse, right? You don't have the right strategy. So look for it become smart, right? Instead of you know, going in, in that direction where we're really calling for help. When you become a victim, when you become weak, it's a call for help. You're really looking for mom and dad to come save you from the situation that you can't do anything about. You feel helpless and so the victim starts. There's nothing wrong with that. It's appropriate if you're faced with a tiger in nature and you say, I can't fight that beast, it's going to eat me. And I can't run from it because it runs pretty, why can't we run faster? Yeah, it's amazing how weak we are, we human beings. But we have one advantage. We're, we're an extremely intelligent pack animal, so we can call for help. And thousand guys can show up, you know, and fight the tiger or scare it away. So I go, ah, and that's the victim. That reaction, that emotional reaction in your body is the victim that calls for help. But can other people tell you or help you play guitar? Can they do it for you? No, it's up to you. So you're alone and the only strategy that works emotionally is the warrior. That every time you're facing something that isn't working, you know, you can't beat the challenge, you just amp up and go even harder. You figure out a better way. You get more focused, right? You take the things that work and you know, and what I did back when I was building my skills and nothing worked, I said, okay, there's too much to learn here. Too many chords, too many scales, too much. How can you even, you know, music theory, rhythm, it's impossible with the progress I've been making. So I said, I wanna learn to play these four notes with alternate picking faster than anybody in the world or at the same level. And it's just, just a goal, you need to pick a thing, right? I wanna learn these chords. But, but all the way to the top, or die trying. And that saved me from the depression because then I had a thing I could focus on hard. I could overwhelm that little exercise with, with massive action and massive number of hours in front of the TV. And I said, I really felt like I'm going to master this or die trying. And that's a commitment where you, you, you know, it's not even about the goal anymore. It's not even about learning guitar. It's just about not giving up, right? It's about being 85 and you're still working on it. You're just so tenacious and just so, you know, focused on it that it's about the process of being that warrior instead of being that weak little, right? 
And I'm not saying that you don't, you know, be weak by all means, but it just doesn't work. I'm sorry, it doesn't. It never does. Nobody helps you because you're not a child anymore, right? You're a grown up and you need to do something that's very complex, actually. And somebody, you know, m some people learn it intuitively. They do the right things. You don't, apparently. So get smart. Figure out the best way. Watch my YouTube videos, right? Buy my programs. <laughs> but this is the key, right? As soon as you step into the victim, you just given up on trying to find a better way. Just lean forward again and get smart. Find a better way, more focus. Take a smaller portion. Is it really true that you can't learn to develop, that you can't master anything? Then take something small enough and then meet it with so much action, so much practice that you totally prove to yourself that of course I can do it. Because every time you practice without getting results, you're proving to yourself that you can't do it. So if you take another six months doing the same things, you know, it doesn't work, but let's do more of what doesn't work. That's what the monkey thinks and you do that, then you got another six months of total proof that you can't do it, right? You build proof. You build yourself. You practice yourself into a depression. You want to get clever. You, results are everything. And you want to focus on the results. You don't want to focus on practicing. You want to focus on actually building measurable results so you can show those results to yourself, to your brain, and really feel great about it. So you want to practice even more. You stay out of that wimpy, you know, a lot of words I shouldn't say on a video, but that wimpy, weak state of becoming the victim of your own uh, efforts here. Subscribe for more free videos. Do it. Do it now. Do it.